Well, hello, all of my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Hey, you guys, it's another beautiful, bright, sunny day here in Florida, and it is hot again. I have actually already been outside working on stuff today. I was off from work today, uh, but I am going to go in this afternoon and get me some overtime. Yeah! It's going to help make up for the three weeks I took off when the baby was born. But anyways, like I said, I was just out here today. I was just kind of piddling, doing a few odds and ends here and there on some, you know, half done projects that we got going on at the house. Um, one of them required me crawling up in the attic with a can of isopoly uh, spray foam and uh, that was just not conducive for filming. So I left you at home. I didn't take you with me, so I apologize. Um, but for my safety and health, I chose not to try and film and spray polyiso foam in a dark, hot attic. I think I made the right choice. Okay, but then after that, I came out here to the garden, which you have seen in the last couple of videos. As you can see, uh, I'm st I've still got some a very dark brown, beautiful rose here, okay? But you'll never guess what I found today. There is life in the garden. I do believe that is one of the black beauty zucchinis that uh, we planted here in this row. And I'm gonna spare you the dizzying, nausea-inducing pans up and down the rows because I've already checked them, there's nothing else there. But that is awesome. We've got our first fall zucchini popping up and I'm super stoked about that. And uh, we have been uh, getting out here. I'm about to finish staking up that kumquat tree over there that got pushed over in the hurricane. It's still alive, it's still doing good. It was just leaning over and it needs to be staked up. And I was just checking on the peppers. Uh, they are doing good. Remember we came out here, oh, I don't know, a week or two ago and we picked all the weeds around these jalapenos. And we picked off all the old growth, uh, all the old peppers that have been sitting on there. They were still good. They were just uh, extremely, well, they were extremely flavorful and spicy. And if you like really spicy foods, then that's good for you. I'm not so much of a fan of hot and spicy. Um, I do like a spicy flavor flavorful kind of thing but uh, not so much just the constant heat of like habaneros and really hot jalapenos so anyways I gave most of those away but I did keep a few of the really good ones and I kept some seeds so we're gonna just keep continuing on with the self-sufficiency of growing your own plants and harvesting your own food and keeping your own seeds and keeping the cycle going I love it it's awesome I know the Sun's a little harsh it is like 1 o'clock in the afternoon but you can see this one has lots of little green jalapenos on it. So that one's got a nice one turning red. Let's see about these over here. These are looking good. They're growing babies. They've got flowers. Just still doing awesome. And it is the 10th of October. I do apologize for all of you guys that are worrying about your first snowfall coming in a few days. I know that's got to really stink. So yeah, I just thought I'd get you out here and give you a quick update on a few things that we got going. Um, it is going to be kind of interesting to see how the garden develops this fall because like I said, this is my first fall garden. Um, well, that's my first fall garden. So while we're out, I'm just doing a quick update. I thought I'd go around and check on everything and show you how things are doing. Here's that pumpkin vine I showed you last week and it is still continuing to grow and check it out. It has turned vertical and it is climbing up this mulberry tree. Speaking of, I gotta get this mulberry tree out of my garden. It was a volunteer, it planted itself two years ago. Look at this, this is just two years of growth. Well, let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, that's 10 or 15 feet tall. This entire thing has happened in the last two years. That is how awesome and nutritious all of this soil is in here. We've got the wood chips, the back to Eden. You know how we do it on the Hewitt Homestead. Loving it. I'm still looking up and down these pumpkin vines. I'm seeing a lot of flowers, but I'm still not seeing any pumpkins. Ah! And if you remember, we've got this piece of a pumpkin vine that migrated over this way. Then the old section died off and now just sitting out here in the middle of the grass is another section of pumpkin vine. It, it also has lots of flowers in it, but no pumpkins. And that's the section we planted those potatoes in yesterday. Obviously nothing happening yet. Didn't expect it to. 
So that's going to be it for today, guys. Nice, short, and sweet little update of what's going on. Um, I'm about to go back inside and get ready to go to work and get me some overtime taking care of the family because uh, that's what you got to do. But you know, I guess today's message is taking the good with the bad. You know, living here in Florida, it gets rough during hurricane season. Summertime is just, whew, it is bad. It is hot and humid and sticky and sweaty. But you know, the good part of it is I don't have to worry too much about irrigation because we get plenty of water. And I also get to grow into October, November, and sometimes even December. So I have more opportunities than most to continue to bring food into my house, feed my family healthy, nutritious, organic food, and just to be more self-sufficient. We are a long ways from self-sufficient, but guys, that's the goal. That's where we want to get. So, uh, you know, thanks for being here on this journey of self-sufficiency with us. Uh, you know, click the like and subscribe buttons and the little bell so that you get notified when we put out new videos and you can, you know, follow along the journey with us. We are having a ton of fun. We have got some crazy, crazy kids running around this place most of the time. Just not today. They're inside doing homework. But uh, yeah, man, we're loving life. We're loving our Lord Jesus in heaven. We're just spreading the message of self-sufficiency, organic uh, eating, uh, homeschooling, and just good family living and the love of Jesus, y'all. So uh, come on back now, you're her. All right, that's it today, guys. And if the good Lord's willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.